It's tough at your age, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting on now, then. <laughs> it's on me all the time about my age. 26, 30, 31. 26, <laughs> makes me feel like I'm at the back of my career. <laughs> Been 26 for five years. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back for episode two of Everton in the USA. We're here regularly with various members of the team and coaching staff to keep you posted with everything that's happening over here in the States. Today, I'm joined by Damari Gray and Ben Godfrey. Thanks for joining me, lads. Once again, we've got plenty coming up for you, including exclusive footage of a gruelling second training session over here in Washington, our regular American penalty challenge, and much, much more. So, let's get cracking. So, lads, welcome. How are you both? Good. Tired. Shattered. Good. Shattered. Good. Yeah, it's good. Enjoying it. Yeah, just what you say. Say you're enjoying it. Must be, must be grueling. Yeah, it's tough. Nice to be back though with the, with the lads and that. And obviously the break's nice after a tough, tough season last year. Um, but you miss it after a while. Miss, yeah, miss being around the lads and that. So it's good. You mentioned the break, and how important it is to recharge your batteries. Did yeah. you, did you feel that it was so intense the end of last season, wasn't it? Yeah, I think obviously it was a tough year. The last few months of the season were obviously intense as well, and. Obviously, we was happy to achieve what we needed, achieve what we needed to achieve. But I think after last season, it was probably one of the most difficult for everyone. So the recharge was unnecessary. It's obviously nice to be back now. Obviously, out here in America, we've heard a group again. It's good to be back around it. Yeah, you mentioned uh, you know the American trip that we're on. Uh, have you managed to go out and see any of the sites? Have you been able to go and see Washington? Have you been here before? Never been here. Never uh, been here. We no. were on Florida last year, which was nice as well. But the COVID stuff last year, we couldn't actually. Yeah, we were a bit restricted last year. Yeah. Um, but we went out yes, like yesterday and saw White House and stuff. Um, been tourists for <laughs> in the day. So, nah, did you walk good. or did you get scooters? No, nah, we got scooters. <laughs> so we're flying about on, on them for the day, uh, <laughs> which is good. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, nice place. I believe you're both fans of American sports as well. Um, are you going to go and watch the Washington Nationals you're in the gonna, baseball game? You're not going to test me on, on American no, sports. No, I'm not, not going to go deep into it. I just <laughs> heard you might like, I heard you like basketball. Yeah, I like basketball a little bit, yeah. Um, baseball, we're going to try and get to, get to the game tomorrow, which would be, which would be nice. Um, it be a good experience. I've, I've never been to a baseball game with you, I presume. No, I've right. never been. Um, American... My knowledge ain't the greatest, but I do like a bit of basketball. Um, not so much baseball, but I know how uh, respected it is out here and uh, how big the sport is. So, like we said, it'd be a good experience just to you know, be in the stadium and see it. Well, you might be lucky enough to see me mess up the opening pitch tomorrow the once pitching. we get there. Yeah, I'm taking the opening pitch at the uh, at the baseball yeah, game. We yeah. wanted that job. So I'm a bit, ner <laughs> bit nervous about that one. So you'll uh, you can heckle me as much as you want there. <laughs> but back to football. It's the manager's first preseason with the group. How how difficult has it been so far? How good has it been so far? No, it's good. Um, obviously, it's preseason, so it's going to be difficult. I think um, fitness wise, it's key for every team. And obviously, the season does get long. So the back end of the season, you know, the squad needs to be as um, robust as possible and it starts here but I think it's just good for the manager and the staff as well just to have a fresh start um, implement the things I want to add to the team and you know style of play and stuff like that because I think when they've come in it's just survival so we're doing what we need to do to survive but um, having a fresh start is um it's good for everyone. Well, it sounds like it's been a very good start and it's double training for the lads today and now it's time to have a look at what happened in this morning's session. Hey, hey, Rocky! Bro! What? No. Ah. 
Nice and steady. Good boys. <laughs> the reaction so well done. Yuri, well done. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Huh? Where's Lloyd? Lloyd! Well done, big man. All the way down. Come on, buddy. All the way down. 24, 24. Hey, I was with Medipin. Well done, boys. Good job, lad. You told me the beginning. Okay, well, now it's time for what has become everybody's favourite part of the show Aussie's quiz. <laughs> and after yesterday's nail biter between Dom and Tom, who it was a tie, two all, today's quiz between Ben and Damari will be true or false questions about America. Very simple. Question one. The USA is the fourth largest country in the world. True or false? False. False. The answer is true. Good start. Russia, China, and Canada in that order oh, are okay. larger countries. Okay. Yeah, by land. Question two. The Beatles are the best-selling musical artists in the history of the USA. True or false? False. I wonder if that's true. It's true. It One big, nil. It's a guess. It's a guess, but it's a guess. big, man. It's a big, yeah, but... Was yours not a that. guess? <laughs> no, I went with knowledge. It's obviously wrong. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect knowledge. <laughs> Question three. The United States borders four other countries. True or false? False. False. Correct. False. It borders two other countries, Canada in the north and Mexico in the south. So question four, baseball has the most participants of any sport in the USA. And you include amateur and, and kids and, and all that. True or false, baseball has the most participants of any sport in the USA. True. False. It's false. American football is the most popular sport over here in the States. I've watched. I've seen own. people play baseball this morning, though. Kids and that, so I just <laughs> don't know. Oh, I, I see your logic. Yeah. That's 3 1. Unfortunately, there's only one question left. Yeah, it's done. It's game over. So I will ask it anyway. The United States does not have an official language. True or false? True. True. It is true. It does not have an official language English. at the federal level, but English is the most common. English, yeah. Well, went well for Damari, not so much for Ben. <laughs> but next up is the USA-style shootout. The challenge will see a member of the squad take on one of the goalkeepers in a retro-style shootout where the ball is carried from around about the halfway line before the outfielder attempts to score. So let's have a look how Ella Simd fared after another gruelling training session here in Washington. US-style penalties. Next up is Ella Simd. One. Right, some football questions for you now, and this is for both of you. We're getting into the thick of pre-season now with this training camp. I know you two are close friends. It must be nice spending a good chunk of time together with each other and the full squad. Yeah, it was. Um, as I said, it's nice to be nice to be back in it together. Yeah, um, I've sort of missed the 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 boys and the changing room banter and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's good to be back amongst it, I'd say. Yeah, it's say the same thing really, obviously me and Ben get along really well. We've got a good group, got a good group. It's funny, we work hard, but it's a laugh. 
there's a good mix between battle side of things and when it comes to putting the work in on the pitch you know we all push and encourage each other and help each other out which is important so Some it's good, nice to be back uh, good characters that. good to be well every pre-season with all, all the new characters is slightly different but do you find yourselves tweaking things slightly individually based on what you've done previously or um, maybe trying to avoid injury in a certain way? Do you find yourselves tweaking pre-season? Yeah, I think you have to. Um, when you've had a break, a period of time off, and you get straight back into it, the intensity, the intensity levels are through the roof. So you might feel one or two things. The manager said to us, you know, if you're feeling anything, just let us know. Because um, obviously it's not the time to be. Mm -hmm. picking up silly little injuries and stuff so it's quite a normal thing but as much as the off season is a time of rest I think when you're approaching you know uh, coming back in you can kind of do a bit of work to prepare and um, prevent little niggles and stuff so I think individually you just have to manage your body and do what's best for you especially in yeah, this period of time. It's a tough one because you can work and stuff in, in off season and, and stay fit but you can't really replicate the yeah, yeah. intensity of, of being in training and stuff like that so as Demi said like you've just got to manage yourself a bit aren't you and um but obviously still still be grafting because it's it's important to have that good baseline ready for ready for the season are you feeling fully fit now you know you had a difficult end to the last season with with injury you just pushed yourself yeah. to the limit to be available for the team but you know how difficult it is to keep coming back and you, you end up injuring something else. Yeah, that it was, rest, is it? You feel re fully recharged? Yeah, it was a bit of a strange one for me last year, a frustrating one. Um, it was probably the first season that I've had sort of a couple of injuries, um, which was which was frustrating for me. Um, but yeah, it's, I was pushing myself to get back um, just to, to help the boys. It was agony watching watching the games and stuff because you, you, you're not in control of anything. Um, <laughs> thankfully, it went well and we got the job done. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to this season and fingers crossed, you know, I'm, I'm available more than more than what I was last season. How have you found working with the new manager? He came in, you mentioned about the injuries in and out. There's been changes between four at the back and three at the back. How have you found, how have you found working with the manager last season and also the start of this season? Yeah, good. As Dim said last season, um, with the situation that we was in, it was it was quite hard for the manager to put, to put his ideas across um, and fully, um, you know, take over with his with his philosophy and stuff like that. But um, so it's been good for him to to work with us this preseason and put his ideas into into play. Um, everyone enjoys working working under a manager and, and and his staff. I feel like we're we're lucky to have the the people around us that we that we do. The experience in the coaching staff is is unbelievable. Um, They've been there and done it, um, so we can learn from them every day, um, and it's enjoyable at the same time. Damari, how do you reflect on your first season at Everton? Because you scored some outstanding goals. Yeah, I think, I say first half of the season, I was um, playing some of the best football I've played then. Like we spoke about before, I had a few little niggles, an illness which kind of um, slowed me down a bit, and I think a main focus for me this season is obviously obviously to start off how I started last year, but maintain that throughout the season and um, it's more off the pitch things, just making sure my body's more robust and um, stronger. So when the second half of the season does come, the little niggles and things that I had, um, they don't play a part as much as they did last year. But overall, I'm happy with you know my first season uh, individually. From a team perspective, it wasn't where we wanted to be, but for all the struggle, the, the reward at the end of staying up was one of the best feelings I've had. So it was a bit mixed, but it was very good for me, good for like my character as well, obviously being in a difficult situation and the fans as well, um, the experience and what they give us in terms in terms of support uh, at the back of the season was incredible. And as an individual, done me a massive, uh, give me a lot of, encouragement and boost knowing that we've got that support behind us because you wouldn't really think we was in that position you think we're playing the Champions League quarterfinal or something the way we was approaching games but um, yeah there's been uh, lots of different emotions but overall it's been good and I'm just looking forward to another season and hopefully it's an injury free and strong season for me. It's tough at your age though isn't it? 
It's getting on now, then. He's on me all the time about my age. 31. 26, <laughs> makes me feel like I'm at the back end of my career. <laughs> Been 26 for five years. Now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're coming towards the end of the show now, and in our final section today, we're going to ask the lads who would be best suited to some famous American roles. So, first up, who in the current squad would be best suited to being a Hollywood actor? Hollywood actor. Delhi? Delhi's up there. Mace? Yeah, very dramatic. Mace is dramatic. <laughs> but it can, it's like different, it can be different every day, like different moods and stuff like that. I'd, I'd say Mace. Yeah, I'd, Mace agree. and Olga. Mace. Sounds like a Hollywood actor. Yeah. yeah. Different moods. <laughs> so who would be better suited to being a WWE wrestler? Yeri. Yuri. Oh, there was no, no doubt about that one, was yeah, there? That yeah. came yeah, out sure straight it was, away. Yeah. Was it was against Leeds last season. He was doing wrestling moves. <laughs> the game. I'm with Pogba. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him do wrestling moves in, in games. To, yeah. Flung me today as well. <laughs> it's 100% Yuri. <laughs> Who would be best suited to being a rapper? Alex. Ah, see, this is where Mason would say him. Mason would want <laughs> us to say Mason now, but it's not him. It's Alex Awobi. Alex, yeah. yeah. He's got talent, Alex. Has he? Yeah, he has, yeah. Genuine. Serious. Serious. Wow. Serious talent, yeah. I'll have to try and get him in here and, and, oh, and see no, that talent. him now. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had to choose a pair of teammates in the current squad to film a sitcom about, who would it be and why? Yeah. Oh, there's too many. Normally, you'd say, people like, might say Devo and Don, but I wouldn't say that. I'd say Delhi. He's... He don't mean to be funny, Delhi, but he's so funny. <laughs> so funny. I'd say I'd say Mason and Delhi again. Yeah, but Mason with him. Mason with Delhi. <laughs> Some pair that. They're quite opposite as well, but both of their. Yeah, it's still yeah, it'd be funny. Yeah. I look forward to seeing that tip come. Every guest on this show, including Damari and Ben, will be signing this pennant for your chance to win it. See the link below. And that's all from us for today's show. We're going to let Ben and Damari get some rest ahead of the next training session this afternoon. <laughs> Lads, thanks very much for joining us and giving us your time. Stay tuned on EvertonFC.com across our social channels for plenty more exclusive access throughout the trip. And we'll see you all for episode three very soon. Up the toffees. <laughs>